All right, more than 24 hours after the storms, thousands of people still in the dark tonight. We Energy says most of the 15,000 customers are in Milwaukee and Waukesha counties. Because of all the damage, the company says it could be tomorrow night before power is finally restored. At the height of the outage, more than 120,000 customers without power, the largest outage since 2005. 12 News Max Siegel shows us how people are still coping. This minivan pulled away from Dottie's gas station Tuesday with no gas. You couldn't do anything here all day and night. The place had no power. Basically, what I'm looking at now is a two day outage, so we've had up to as many as three days in the past. Duke Maynard owns this longtime family business in the town of Merton. We found his daughter sweeping the back cooler area, cleared out earlier in the day. We had to dump all the ice cream, of course. That stuff doesn't last very long at all. He says that's a loss of about four to five hundred dollars. He managed to get all the refrigerated items to another location. Now it's just waiting for power here and down the road at Kathleen Daly's house. He's got a generator running her fridge. There's lunch meat. Plus a cooler loaded with ice, lunch meat, and soda. All of it to keep her three kids going. I was worried about the fridge and the kids trying to eat, and you know when you don't have a microwave or a toaster. They're, that's their life. They're used to this. Some kids had to be turned away from basketball practice Tuesday night at Stonebank Elementary School. Their coach spreading the word there's no power. It's a little hectic trying to get all these parents uh, settled in here and uh, making them understand a little bit how we don't have practice. We'll have to make it up. And we're back live in the town of Merton right now where we've got some good news to share. The power is back on here for everyone. Went back on about an hour ago. We're at Dottie's gas station. Lights are on over the pumps here. Lights also in over the store. And uh, the owner is actually back there by the ice machine. He came here just a few minutes ago to check on things. We are live in the town of Merton tonight. Max Siegel, WISN 12 News.